Welcome HomeKit fans to HomeKit Versus, the series where we pit popular products from our favorite smart home platform against each other and see who comes out on top. If that sounds like your thing, give that subscribe button and bell icon a one-two punch and KO that like button. Acura's lineup of smart home products is a great way to start building out your home kit home and there are currently two ways to get started, at least in most parts of the world. And in this video, these two options go head to head. Fighting out of the red corner, it's the original, the tried and true, time tested titan, the Acura Hub. And in the blue corner, it's the connected camera cousin of the Acura Hub, the G2H Camera Hub. Acura was kind enough to send us a G2H for this comparison, but as always, this will be a clean and fair fight. Now, we have done full reviews on both of these hubs, and you'll find links to those as well as affiliate links with limited time promo codes in the description box down below. So with the intro out of the way, let's get it on. Touch gloves and come out fighting. Round one is all about design. In terms of HomeKit, these two hubs function in slightly different ways and we'll take a look at that in more detail in round two, but they both connect to your network using Wi-Fi so there's no need to tie up one of your precious Ethernet ports of your router. Both of these devices are also Zigbee hubs which allows you to connect a range of different smart home accessories without bogging down your Wi-Fi. The G2H camera hub uses Zigbee 3.0 which is slightly faster and has a further reach allowing you to connect up to 64 child devices, whereas the Acura Hub uses a slightly older version of Zigbee which allows you to connect up to 32 child devices. Though they make use of them in different ways, both of these hubs do have built-in speakers with the original Acura Hub coming in at about 120 decibels, whereas the G2H Camera Hub maxes out at about 85 dB. It's also worth noting here that the Camera Hub does have a built-in motion sensor as well as mic for two-way audio, but the original Acura Hub does not. It functions more as a security system and hub, but it does have an LED ring around the outside, around the outside. And finally, the way these two hubs get their juice is pretty different with the original Acura Hub plugging directly into a socket and very likely covering up the other outlet, whereas the G2H Camera Hub uses a standard 5 volt 1 amp external power supply over micro USB, meaning that you can plug it into just about anywhere. The faster Zigbee connection and higher child device capacity, two-way audio, and flexible powering options means that round one goes to the G2H Camera Hub. Now on to round two with app features in the Acura Home app and in HomeKit. I think it's safe to say that both of these hubs are security centered, but the Acura Hub is touted as more of a security system. And in the Acura Home app, we start out with four different alarm modes, 24 seven guard, home mode, night mode, and away. The G2H Camera Hub does provide these security system modes, though only in the Acura Home app and not in HomeKit. We can configure delays in the activation of these four different modes and which Acura accessories will trigger the alarm action. One of the distinguishing features of the Acura Hub is that it can be used with their wireless mini switch as a doorbell. Now the G2H Camera Hub can do this independently or alongside the Acura Hub, however we don't have as many options for sounds. Both hubs offer a wide range of automation actions based on their respective hardware features. The Acura Hub allows us to adjust the RGB ring around the outside as well as customize the alarm and ringtone sounds. Since the G2H doesn't have an RGB, we don't have that functionality. However, we can use automations to play limited alarm sounds, to control sleep and wake functions, to enable and disable motion and sound detection, and even record video. As I mentioned earlier, the Acura Hub functions as a hub and security system in HomeKit, the former of which means that any of our connected child devices are then in turn exposed to HomeKit. We can also see all of our child devices in the hub's settings. As a security system, we can disarm and arm our security system either manually or in scenes and in automations. The LED is also exposed and we can control the brightness and the color of that. 
The G2H camera hub shows up in HomeKit as a HomeKit secure video camera with all of the recording, facial recognition, activity zone, and notification features that I covered in more detail in a previous video. Interestingly, all of the connected child devices are exposed to HomeKit, though when you go into the device's settings, we can only see the onboard motion sensor. Now I have to say that our two contenders went pretty much blow for blow in terms of app features, so I'm calling round two a draw. Let's see who comes out on top in our third and final round that's all about value. As of the publishing of this video, you can pick up the Acura Hub on its own on Amazon in the US for $50. You can also bundle it alongside the Acura Smart Plug, Door and Window Sensor, Motion Sensor, and Wireless Mini Switch for their Smart Starter Kit for $120, saving you about $15 overall. The G2H Camera Hub, on the other hand, comes in at $65 in the US. And though there aren't any starter kits available, you can find it bundled with specific sensors if you're looking to save a bit of scratch there. In my mind, the added speed and higher capacity of Zigbee 3.0, along with a HomeKit secure video camera and its motion sensor, far outweigh the loss of an RGB night light, a slightly louder speaker, and the ability to arm and disarm a security system and home kit, especially for only $15 or more. So the G2H camera hub shows its strength dominating round three. Looking back at our scorecard, round one went to the G2H with its updated connectivity specs. Round two was a wash with both contenders bringing some pretty impressive software prowess and the G2H took round three with its added features versus price over the Acura Hub. So the winner of today's Smart Home Hub Hustle is the Acura G2H Camera Hub. Although the G2H did win out over the Acura Hub, I have to say that these two devices complement each other really well and are a terrific tag team for a security system for your HomeKit home. So if you're interested, don't forget to check out the promo codes and the links in the description box down below. Also in the description box, you'll find links to our two full video reviews of these hubs, as well as a link to our blog where we have full written reviews over at myhomekithome.com. You'll also find links to our social media on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at my home kit home. As always, if you found today's video useful, you can let us and YouTube know by giving us a big thumbs up. It really does help out the channel and helps others find our content. If you're interested in more home kit verses, you can check out this playlist here or you can check out this video here. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications as we will be doing more home kit verses in the near future. Well, I thank you for joining us for another fantastic fight night and I hope to see you in the next episode of Home Kit Versus.